Are you looking for a smartphone or camera tripod that won't break the bank? You're in the right place. Hi everybody, this is the first video I've made about the equipment I've bought on my journey as a YouTube content creator or YouTuber. And I apologise in advance if the lighting is not perfect as I haven't bought a lighting setup yet and I'm still learning colour grading and video editing. As everything I'm doing is self-taught, but you'll notice that the quality will improve as time goes on. As I'm just starting out and with YouTube monetization not being available to startups, I wanted to create a half decent setup on a low budget, something in the region around 100 to 150 pounds. There's no point in spending hundreds not knowing if you will recoup that back from YouTube ads or affiliate commissions at this stage. So I searched around on eBay and Amazon and looked through quite a few tripods to find a compromise between price and quality. And this tripod from Photo Pro, which was priced at $24.99 in the UK and $29.99 in the US, stood out. Okay, so let's look at what you get. It comes with a carry bag, which is just big enough for the tripod and the associated accessories. It's designed to be used with a GoPro, with your DSLR or your smartphone, and comes with two quick release clips. So the manual comes in English and three other languages, and it shows you how to adjust the height by adjusting the legs of the tripod as well as how to attach and release the quick release plates for your camera or your smartphone. As mentioned previously, this tripod can be used with your smartphone, for your camera, and also if you have a GoPro, a GoPro 2. One good feature is this tripod actually comes with a Bluetooth control, so you can actually pair that with your smartphone, and I'll show you how to do that later. What that means is that you don't actually need to keep on going back to your phone every time you want to take a picture. So as well as English, the manual also comes in French, Chinese and also Japanese. On the tripod there is a bubble that shows whether the tripod is balanced correctly or not. Okay, so to pair the Bluetooth unit with your phone, switch on the Bluetooth unit, go to your settings and connections, Bluetooth, turn it on, click into the Bluetooth, and it will search automatically. Give it a few seconds, and then it will come up as a BT4, which is the Bluetooth unit, Select BT4 and it will pair automatically and it will say connected as input device. Although the Bluetooth remote works well, my Note 9 actually has an S Pen which doubles up as a remote, so I tend to use that instead. But for people that don't actually have a separate remote on their phone, this Bluetooth works very well. Okay, first of all we have the mobile phone holder here which goes on to the quick release clip to install your phone into the mobile phone holder push down on the two side clips and adjust the, the holder to the right width for your phone and then push down gently on the top and also pressing down on the two side clips at the same time until it reaches a firm click And then to attach it to the tripod, you just pull the lever that's on the top of the tripod and that will click firmly in place. And if you want to remove it and swap it with, let's say your DSLR, just pull the side switch again and it will quick release. So how well does the tripod move? How fluid is it? I do find that when turning the camera left and right using the tripod, it's quite smooth. But I do find that when you try to move the camera up and down using the lever, 
it does kind of judder a little bit from time to time so you need to probably use two hands to adjust it I don't know whether it's because of the tripod or whether it's because of the weight of my phone because my phone is actually quite heavy um, but overall movement wise it's quite good if all you want it is to take vlogs for YouTube then that's fine because in most cases you won't be moving the camera much um, but if you are tending to use the camera to move up and down quite a lot you may want to consider a different tripod to adjust the height of the legs all you need to do is unbuckle one of the three clips on the side and each clip will adjust it to a different level at the lowest setting it would be suitable to be placed onto a table at the high setting the level is probably suitable for you taking videos or pictures around the dining table level if you need anything higher than that then it's probably worth going for the slightly more expensive model which is slightly higher in summary is this tripod worth buying? In my honest opinion, yes it is. For its price, it's pretty decent. And if you look at the reviews on Amazon, it's got a fair number of good reviews. There are a couple of negative ones, but overall I was convinced to, to try this because of the good reviews. And um, I'm not disappointed. I would, if I was given a choice again, I would buy it again. Thank you guys for watching. If you do like the video, please consider subscribing. I will be adding further videos regarding the equipment I use, the methods I use to edit the videos, and how I made the intros. The intros I actually made for free using programs such as PixLR and also DaVinci Resolve. So if you are interested on learning how to edit in a simple fashion, then stay tuned.